Chris has a dual HP of such max. Oh yay! Do we, so we get all spells back as well. So yay! Yeah. Because I don't uh, remember what you did last section, so yeah, I'm gonna move, move the bear up. I jumped off a cliff. <laughs> we all yes, jumped, off cliff. jumped off a cliff. Yeah. <laughs> so did good. And she all the not all one, and then she tries to do that in the arrow, and she jumps, she pulls off a chair. <laughs> what? I I didn't understand the last part of the second sentence. I apologize. You fell off your chair because you tried to jump. Oh yeah. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Time to annoy everyone with the here command. Sure. We're in a car! Now, now it is time to wait for the abuse to pour in. <laughs> pour, more like trinkle. Oh no. oh no, but it, it is the occasional pour because like for example, someone used the hair command, I got about... I hear command, sorry not hear, everyone command. What we were doing the survey on the Discord. Uh, specifically on the Nico B one. I got five five messages all with just variations of fuck you <laughs> <laughs> I don't get any of those to be fair using the everyone gives you over a thousand hundred people thing the, th the thing was I wasn't even the person that used the everyone command which made it even more funny it was like what <laughs> why am I getting this <laughs> Why am I being on the, um, uh, I don't know, thump? <laughs> thump. <laughs> okay. Previously on Lost Minds of Bad Delver. Previously on I'm Dungeons and Dragon jump. Ball Z. I'm gonna jump! <laughs> well, what's up with all the drawings? <laughs> yes, uh, there were a few lot of there, actually. <laughs> oh! Hmm. Well, I don't know, I don't know who's drawing them, but yes, it looks like Drake. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Okay, so you guys took a long rest, so uh, please uh, go to your HP is back to max 2. So I'll put it back to 34. Yep. Uh -huh. uh, so you captured a double the ganger, do you want to ask him something? Yeah, we're gonna interrogate it him. Go. He's still blowing. Oh, because we, <laughs> we cannot start. Ah. You cannot start at the game, sorry. Mm. Stop, 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 stop drawing! <laughs> why, did, why did we teach her that she could basically draw on the map? Oh, I would have learned that on my own. Okay, so we what do you guys want to do? We, we went two months without you finding out. <laughs> Actually. I knew the whole time, I just didn't do it. Well, we can ask the double ganger where is the real one. Oh yeah, we took him alive. I forgot about that. Before someone killed him. Like, where, where's the real one? Up, oh, hold up. I, I kind of wanted just to say it was he, he was here all along. Dun dun dun. Alright, uh, actually it's not. So, uh, he's just pointing to other direction. Hmm. Over there? Mm. My mom just installed a new shower head. It's glorious. 
good to know. Okay. Anyways, we got a doppelganger here. Uh, how do we know he's telling the truth, like point just by pointing it? You can make an inside check if you want. Turns to the <laughs> naked chick. Or you could go Phoenix, right? Try <laughs> try and get a breakdown from him. I you have tell. no idea. Anybody else know? You you just have like a Phoenix right breakdown with having an insight of one. Uh, I can try. Oh my god! <laughs> Let the games begin. Can I, can I roll an intimidation check to get it to turn back? Uh. Yes. Thank you. Okay, he is pretty truthful. Uh, and what do you want to intimidate him for? To turn back into a doppelganger? To turn back into his normal form. Okay, roll intimidation. Oh, he want to turned him? into a naked chick. You put some clothes on right now, young person. Wait, what if he just turned into a chicken? What if he actually just did that? He's... Did you... <laughs> put some clothes on. What did happens you just... if we... What happens if we put a bow? What if we put a tie on him? Would it be, Did would you it just be a head tie? Oh, God. Oh. Uh, <laughs> you can only turn uh, into a, actually, a doppelganger can only turn into a humanoid, so he cannot turn into a chicken. After, after, after Evie's joke, after, after Evie's joke, Samuel just heads towards the cliff. <laughs> just, just think, just thinking about slightly jumping again. <laughs> It w it's yeah. not deep enough. Don't do it. No. Get back here. Yeah. I drag him this back. Is, yeah. this, oh. this is only about 20 feet high. I won't kill you anyways. You, you already fall down the cliff. Unless you go head first yeah. and crash. I drag him in. back. Look. If Kitty can mess, the, mess up that jump, I'm pretty sure it's possible you can kill yourself on that pole. Technically, it is 20 feet. That's still pretty high. If you land straight on your yeah. head, you can break your neck. Yeah, just you guys are pretty strong people, so... <laughs> <laughs> just like, you just fall off and you just bounce off the, off your muscles. Samuel, you survived the freaking bugbear. Don't don't throw your life over Did by I? a freaking by a freaking cliff. You need to Did die I? more perspectively than that. I feel like in another reality, I might have been splattered against the wall. Yeah. Damage but that's is, another uh, reality. Per... Not this yeah. reality. <laughs> yeah, technically the damage is 1d feet per 10 feet. And uh, regular uh, humans have like, f like 4 HP or something, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've just got the same image of like Samuel jumping and then climbing up the ladder and jumping again. <laughs> Anyways, is there anything else we should ask these guys? Like, do you... Uh, you might want to ask where the leader is. Yeah, we did. Oh, you did. Oh, sorry. Like, we can ask him, like, why they're here, what they're doing, what what they're doing. Though it's kind of obvious, but still. Yeah, no. they're just looking for the magic artifacts that were buried here. Yeah, uh, do they want to do evil um, stuff with They're looking it? for the fog. Uh, they they want to look for the fog spells too. Uh, maybe, maybe as an idea of a layout, traps, etc. Oh yeah. This black spider seems like someone I want to punch square in the face. Mm. Oh yeah! Shit! I forgot!
forgot to prepare like a qua oh well. It's not like we're gonna be running into water <laughs> here that often anyways. Uh can I do an inside check on Savat's statement about him saying black spiders down there in the fist? We uh, yeah. We found out where his boss is, but we didn't specify about the black spider. But like we already know that he's telling the truth there. No, all I'm all I'm saying is that he said most traps in down the corridor. That to me sounds like, hey guys, uh, just to give you a heads up, there's probably going to be a trap at the end of a hot corridor. Oh, that's going to be an ambush or something. And I can't tell anything. <laughs> nope. nope. Hmm. Is there anything else we should ask, or is that it? I uh, can't think of anything else, really. Now, the next question is, are we actually going to keep him alive? <laughs> Let me go. Let me go. Let me go. Uh, we could leave him here and come back for him, but then he... <laughs> just, like, find, like, some dark like cave something and just put him in there and then come back for him later we put it into the closet that it obviously exists in caves <laughs> yes exactly Is well, it... okay you tie him up somewhere and I'll put him against the rock <laughs> just so I'm guessing it. we'll we'll let him live after we're done with all this would you, would you, we just got him hanging over the waterfall <laughs> give him a little spin Okay. I, but I feel like that'd be kind of close to waterboarding him. Look, he's not in the water. He's just, just fly like over the water ball. He's fine. He's fine. Uh, Look, he's fine. You just time up or something? Or? Yeah, we're just. He's he, he's just having the time of his life dangling over the water ball. That's all. Should we gag him so that he doesn't scream out for help? Because this yeah. game can be pretty. Oh, yeah. I, I, I feel that I feel that's what we we did in the first place. I'll be honest. Otherwise, he would have screamed a long time ago, considering his boss is down the corridor. Oh yeah. Well, oh well. Not the smartest thing, is it? Yeah, we just can't. And our wizard really likes. I knew you were gonna say that. You really do not like shit, do you? Like you always want to kill the prisoners. Can I, can I just say, it was, it was just like, the minute it's something like a double ganger, you're like, oh no, can't let that live. As soon as you get an undead necromancer, he's like, oh the guys, I think we should leave him. <laughs> Listen, guy. On the old day, there is no fellowship between sailors. It is all it is Either what? way. It is made for himself. What are you talking about? On that sail and sea. I don't know, but uh I'm sorry, but I gotta be uh I gotta be RB for a minute. Okay. okay. Which one of you gave her milk this morning? Which one of you did it? Someone <laughs> did it. <laughs> But fellow wizard, my left. Just a heads Let's up, while Evie isn't here, ah. Snicker isn't here today either. So it's literally no one there. <laughs> oh boy. Oh god, what is this? I came into the chat and it's... Oh god. Yeah, let's hope the Discord will stay calm today. While Nico was a Garompa. Yeah, it's, it's 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 amazing. He uploads V3. I'm here. Craft is here. Fedora is here. Eevee is here. We have uh, Soul is not here today. Sneaker is busy playing D and D in real life. Oh, <laughs> why is it work? <laughs> it's 4 a.m. for Gil. Oh rip. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Vipperoni. I have the chat up on a different screen. So I'll 
You, Ripper Bipper. You got yeah. 50 miles. 50. That's a big ol' Ripper Watching on us. Fellow wizard, my left bum. Sorry about that. No uh, problem. Okay, so what's going on? Okay. Do I hear a Dutch man? <laughs> what? A Dutch man? A Dutch man. A Dutch man. Fedora? Is that? I am it's my guitar. I... Oh my god! Whoa. <laughs> no, not. No. Okay, so what do you guys want to do? <laughs> well, then let's go where you said. Um, Unless we want to explore the place a little more. Uh, you were the I scout. say we can. I say we continue on. You scouted this area before, didn't you? Uh, I, oh, I went down this way a little bit. I haven't gone this way. And that's presumably the corridor we gotta go down anyway. So. Yeah. You wanna? Do you wanna go out in front since you're more stealthy? Sure. Why not? Oh yeah, I forgot. Luck is still here. He is here. He's just. It's just never been the same after the accident. <laughs> we, could just, we could just have Travis play as him until his character pops up. I I have no idea how luck would work. Uh, <laughs> I don't even know what what class luck is currently playing. Uh, he's, uh, he's just a fighter, so he, he just swings his sword basically. But yeah. Okay, so... I'm... I would like to try and sneak him through the door without alerting anything potentially on the other side. Do you think it's a good Can idea having find... all of us bunched up while you do that? Probably not, no. You might want to all, all turn, the cor turn the corner. Uh, Probably the other corner would be better in case, you know, something comes out I and mean, then you'll trap. Ah, uh, okay. I'll yeah. be on the front lines. <laughs> Something a bard should never do. Okay. Uh, but this is no normal bard. This is a warrior bard. Well, yeah, you are, you are also called to follow, so you're technically a fighting bard. Wait, since he has that, since she has those gauntlets, would she be able to technically take a a level in a fighter or barbarian or something? No, no, not really. Well, she already has 13 strength as, as uh, good. I, uh, I don't, I don't really need uh, to. Base strength is 13. Well, that's because she was getting really ready anyways, but she decided not to. Ooh. Oh, could I, I, could I roll for the stealth to try and open it? That's okay. Oh, yeah. Uh, let's do this. Ooh, ouch. Yes. Ooh, that too scared me. <laughs> oh. Okay, so here is the room description. Six crackled marbled pillars line the wall of this hall, at the north end of which stands the nine foot tall statue of a dwarf sitting on a throne. A mighty stone warhammer across his lap. Large emeralds gleam in the statue's eyes. For a second there, I was gonna go like, ooh, but then I realized, no, I'm not Tana. <laughs> the dust and debris cover the floors and sweat. Oh, hi. Oh, wait, does he actually see me? Even though I rolled 24. Oh, yeah, you, you're still thinking, oh, yeah, that's a default dialogue, but yeah, he didn't see you. Oh, okay, great. <laughs> Oops. Oh, great. So, sorry, my, my bad, my bad. I'm making a mistake. <laughs> the dust and debris 
debris covering the floor that's been swept to one side and a campsite of some sorts now spreads in front of the statue. Half a dozen bedrolls and packs are neatly arranged around the rough built fire pit. The wooden table stands on the west side of the room between the two pillars. Four giant spiders stand by the table, flanking a dark elf dressed in black leather armor and robes. He clutched a black staff with the carp spider on top and frowns as he sees. I know, he, well, he doesn't see you since. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, oh, wait, oh, I, I, we, oh, God. Oh, wait, I thought I, thought I was just moving in anyway. Yeah, wait, what, uh, yeah. wait. Uh, actually, I, I should roll a perception check for, for him to see. Yeah. His, uh, I see those tokens and I don't like it. It's fine. I'll just try not to look at them. Uh, arachnophobia is fun, isn't it? Oh, you don't even know. When he moved, when he made my token, I just spawned in the middle of that room. <laughs> oh, that sounds fun. Ah, oh, so Travis, I place you somewhere on the map. Oh. Uh. Ugh. Oh god, Wait, that makes my. Oh. I don't find him. I oh, yeah, here it is. The info. Yeah. Of... Here it is. Oh. like black spider. Ah. Uh... <laughs> the token makes my skin crawl. Nah, he doesn't. He didn't see you. Yay. Oh boy. Okay, but how are we gonna? How are we gonna do this? Surprise round? Yeah, Damn. you're... You'd pretty much have to burst through the door. The only problem is, I'm currently leading the party. Which means, all of those lovely things are gonna be attacking me. Currently. Okay, I broke my walls. Don't really want that. Hold on. Gotta grab my... Grab my... Uh, while, while you guys are figuring out what to do next, I'm gonna be looking through, like, my animals that I could turn into now that I, I can turn into stuff from with one speed. You will, you will want to basically break down the door, do as much range as you can, and then draw them out into the corridor. Okay. Uh, hey, the door. There's no... Oh. Yes? Can I ask you a quick question about, like, my animals? Um... Exactly, uh, what kind of limitations are there for, like, my animals anyways? Do I, like, can I turn into anything that's in the character handbook? Or am I, like, limited to, like, animals I should only know of? Uh, I think you need to know what the animal looks like, basically, to turn into it. Okay, so, what? nothing too so... exotic. Yeah. Well, yeah, so, if you've never seen a dinosaur, you wouldn't be able to turn into it, I think. Okay. I think that's how it works. Okay, and since this... But you, you, you could, for, for example, do research on... Uh, and look for a picture of a dinosaur, and then you see, oh, it looks like this or something. Okay. So I think that... Okay, that makes if, sense. If, if, it, if, if it's uh, something you never turn into, uh, we'll ask for uh, a history check or a nature check or something. Okay. Basically. Okay. Because to to see if you would know uh, how, uh, how the thing would look like. But if it's something you've already seen, you should be able to turn into it. Okay, so uh, like I can automatically already turn into a bear because everybody knows what a fucking bear is. Yeah. So I'm what, 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 you want to turn into something specific? Or? No, I'm just I'm just wondering because now that I could turn into stuff with a swim speed, I have more options. So I just wanted to know. Okay. I I don't know what I'm gonna do just yet right now. I'm probably going to try and sneak back out and tell them all about the enemies in the room, whatever. So, I presume I'd have to roll again. Hmm? Uh, yeah, sorry. Uh, you wanted to roll again for... I, I was, I was going to sneak out. Which through the door again, but obviously that would potentially trigger him seeing me again, so I'd have to well, roll to the, door is, the door is still open, right? Or did you close it? I, I presume I'd probably close it on the way in uh, to stop him from noticing. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, okay. Then, yeah, you would have to roll again. Okay. Um, so, let's see. Oh, no, I think I might have picked Slight Band instead. 
21. God, oh, that two keeps scaring me. Uh, Good thing our ranger is like a rogue. He still doesn't see you. <laughs> so it's fine. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so guys. There is about... Let's see, okay, I was just checking. There's four columns there and about four spiders and the spider king in the middle on the throne. Uh, there is a side entrance to the right, which I believe is the place that we saw before. But ideally, we're going to probably want to attack them and then draw them out here. Because if we go into that room, what's going to happen is we're going to basically be rushed and attacked at all sides. Mm. <laughs> we definitely need a plan here. I have a plan. We're not rushing in, and we're, you're not being their entertainment. Actually, I had a slightly different plan. You guys would wait, like, over there, like, right here, in this sort of area. And I would go in and say, like, hey, guys, uh, there's food over there. <laughs> Kitty. And then when they, <laughs> I think... like, hey guys. Okay. Uh, or I could just walk in like, hey guys, what's up? This Ooh. is the main <laughs> villain of this campaign, and he's pretty aware of who you guys are by this point. What's I up, mean... dude? <laughs> or I could just walk, or instead, uh, you guys could still like wait like in this area, and then I could I could walk forward and then be like, you said come at me, bro. <laughs> you said there was another entrance oh, or something. On the other side? Yeah, there's a side entrance on the right. Uh, you could probably... I think I have a rough idea of where it is. Yeah, if we follow the river... The, the only problem I can see with that is... Mm, is the fact that we're all very crammed in, and I'm presuming the Spider King is going to have some spells or whatever. So the problem is we're going to run into the exact same problem we had with the Fireball guy. Where we all get hit by a spell and it's awful for all of us. Mm. I can deal with a little fireball. I don't know if I... I'd rather not I'm... deal with the fireball. Also, I just realized I, mean... I forgot to roll my hit die for last. <laughs> I just realized I forgot to roll my hit die. I'll do that after this campaign. Oh, that is melty. Uh, remind me to switch. Remind me to go to the straw campaign because I just realized I forgot to roll Tana's hit points. Anyways, okay. hmm. I want to check out that side corner. See more options over there. Instead of just rushing rushing through the front gate. Uh. Okay. Probably a better idea than my plan. I'll wait right here. Oh, how deep is this water? Uh, oh, wait, oh, wait there's this, it, it, this spot, too. Like, over there. Uh, it's not very deep, so... Yeah, you can safely cross it. Hmm. There's also... Okay. There's also a little door there. I'm afraid there might be something in there. Uh, that is probably probably the way into the side entrance. No, 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 no. It's like it's oh. a hall, but on the hall there's a door. Are you following uh, us? Are you yeah, I yeah, I I saw it before. I I imagine it'd be like some keep of some kind or where he's keeping some of his supplies. But literally beyond that. Um, yeah, literally beyond that, about a couple of steps that way, you'll come to direct contact. Mm. Should we check out this room first? Uh, you can, but that's probably within earshot, so you'll want to be very careful opening the door. Uh, I don't have the highest stealth here, like, you're the most stealthiest of us. But the thing is, currently, right now, if I failed, and we let that go, we are completely unorganized. 
I should. Why didn't I? Why didn't I put the? Oh shit! I still haven't picked my can. Ah oh, well, it's just a cantrip, anyways. Ah, <laughs> uh, why didn't? Why didn't I prepare like a tra trick pass without a trace? Really prepare that. Could, but we don't know if anything's in there. Plus, as well, like I said, that will, I, I don't think that would address the issue of obviously them being able to hear the door open. This is the main room, and they're probably up here. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe I should have followed the others. You're not with us. <laughs> I'm still at the front door. Uh, wait, where's the water ship? Okay, there we go. What, what I'm just gonna listen. I'm just gonna listen to this door. Okay. Oh goodness! Hmm. Never mind. I'll pretend I didn't see any of them. I'm listening for trouble. I mean, we can't do anything. Yeah. Um. I'd imagine because the, the problem with this one is the fact that the problem with this side is that we don't have direct line of sight immediately with them. So if we entered into combat and in, on this corridor the problem is me and you ron would have to move forward and if we move forward to make eye contact and actually attack the problem is is that we're right at the front lines which exposes us just generally well, so the best way to probably the best way to probably do this is to do the bottom entrance because the bottom entrance we immediately both have a line of sight and we can basically take a step back and we've got more space between us and them so we can fall back if need be. So what in you window has Evie's character been in this game? Shut up, Goose! Okay, so it's like... So people in this hallway will be in the front line, which... I well, feel like, I feel like me being here from... might be a little bit of a good idea since I am since I can tank stuff. While, every, well, while the people that with... can't be in the front lines can go uh, to the yeah. front entrance. I... <laughs> I... I don't, I don't think that's a good idea because the problem is then, is that you can't deal massive damage and then all four of us are going to be left alone with no way to really have someone who can suck up the damage. So the minute that someone, some, one of them might break off to just deal with you and then we've got to deal with the rest. And that might end up with us just completely collapsing. Hmm. Massive damage, huh? Hold on. Okay, so... Yeah. Moonbeam. Let's see. I think I got a little bit of an idea. So I have this move that, uh, though it requires concentration. Do I break concentration when I transform into an animal? No, I, I don't think I do. Uh, I don't think so, no. So, hmm. I can't but if you get hit, you have to make a concentration check. So if you go million uh, every time you get hit, you would have to make a concentration check. Yeah. And I don't. I could. I got an. I got a little bit of an idea. It's like I have this. Uh, I have a spell called Moonbeam that does two d ten damage, and it stays there as long as I can keep concentration. The only problem is, is that when I'm in animal form, I won't be able to move it around. I don't think so. So that does massive damage, but in, like alongside that, like I can also do with like my bear attacks and stuff like that. Hmm. Do I roll in, uh, can I roll investigation to see if I hear anything from the other side of the door? Like I feel like they probably wouldn't notice me that much while they're being a while they're noticing the people up in front. 
but hmm. I, I don't know. How do you think we should go about this? Can I roll investigation to see if I hear anything from the other side of the door? Could do that. Uh, yeah. yeah. Either way, I think. The goblin. Shut up, Goose. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, you don't know anything more than uh, what uh, someone told you, so. You hear a bit of noise, but uh, you know there are four spiders there, plus uh, the black spider. Right? Oh, yeah, I can't I can't do action. I, yeah, when I transform, I can't. Uh, the spell will continue, but I can't do actions that involve the yeah. So I won't be able to move it around. So, uh, no, sorry, Ron's choice. Ron, Ron's uh, plan is basically what I'm thinking as well. Because the other, the other issue as well, to prevent, to prevent that spell being cast, what I'm going to do is, after contact's made, and hopefully we could draw them out to the hallway, I'm going to run back. Because I could still deal effective damage while being far away. That way, that way as well, what I can do is I can watch out in case any of the spiders, or even the spider king himself, gets any ideas and uses this corridor to flank us. Can I do a nature check on the spiders? Uh, sure. Let's see what they're capable of, because I can easily just look it up right now, but I, I'd be metagaming. Yeah. Uh-uh. That 20. A giant spite. Okay. I just realized. That some of the with with the man with the sort of personality that I gave uh, Leaf while I was playing him in Skyrim. If he were in the real world, he would be a vapor. He would vape. What? What have I created? What are you even talking about? I, I don't have know. no idea. Anyway, well, you, uh... you don't even know what the hell are we supposed to know. Well, I kind of know what I'm talking about. You I don't even know. know what you're talking about fully. Oh, Travis is here. <laughs> oh yeah, I keep forgetting oh. Travis's character is supposed I to pop mine. up and replace us. A... I have mine. We, we probably should have waited alchemy. until we ended the campaign. He alchemies. We probably should have um, Oh well. No, it's fine. <laughs> anyway, uh, forget about this. Uh, yeah, you should be you should be careful for their spider webs, because they could easily restrain you. <laughs> I could have guessed that. Okay then. Well then. Yeah. Yeah. Let's well, just go with uh, Sam's yeah, idea. Big ones, but yeah. Yeah, let's do something. <laughs> no, wait. Technically, I actually I could turn into a giant spider. Too. I rather I rather not. But I could do that. Mm. Spine of that challenge rate of uh... one. Yeah. So yeah, you could technically. Hmm. Like. Can actually come in handy. Okay then. If that if that comes to the case, I might turn into a giant spider. But don't use the token, please. Just 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 give me the bear token. There's already a Because I'd rather them. not see any more spiders on screen. <laughs> Four is enough spiders. Then again, it's probably. It's I mean, it's bad enough that there's you know, yeah, spiders. Yeah. The token point might be a really good. Yeah. The choke point might be a good idea because I could cast moonbeam. Okay. Sounds like we got a plan. Okay. What are you doing? Go. 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 Go.
Well, can you stop it? J just because your name is Smoke doesn't mean you could start selling pro like produce or whatever. And products. Who's to say that I can't? The universe. Uh, okay, since we're going into battle, uh, could you all roll initiative? We're not in combat yet, but we're already gonna roll. And now I have a smoke machine. Wonderful. Yeah, now stop crackling it. It's kind of annoying. I'm trying. Just put the bottle down! That, that moment did. when... That moment when both both your initiative rolls are the exact same. <laughs> okay, let's initiative. Poor Ranger boy. <sighs> nice. Oh. Uh, so I would say uh, you would get one surprise action on them. So. And then I would react, so who, who wants to go? Okay, who can do the most massive damage right now? Uh, yes, I do. Uh, I have to roll for luck. Indeed. Well, Ra well Ranger Boy has so many freaking that uh, can do so much freaking damage just because he's a human. Or a yeah, you, you, someone want to go first though, because if you remember about Colossus Slayer, I only get that when something's injured. <laughs> Is it yeah, meta gaming to figure out who could go first if we look at the initiative? No, uh, ye, well, <laughs> that's for. Uh, anyway, uh, the the first thing would be a surprise attack. So uh, you would get your surprise attack, and then we will go into regular initiative. Mm. So yeah. Basically, if whoever goes first, then it would be Eevee. So well, satisfying the pops. Well, my Moonbeam is a automatic hit because it's a saving throw. Uh, I, c I, d I don't know how buffy these spiders are going to be, but I could probably... I, I could do reasonable damage, probably. Scorching Ray might actually be a good idea because if that lands on you, that does pretty much pretty good decent damage. To be fair. Mm. Oh, okay, that works. Okay, well, whoever, well, to be, well, to be honest, whoever goes in would have to make a stealth roll to, to not be detected. Oh, yeah, otherwise, we would just goes. go. Yeah, otherwise we would just go into regular initiative front. So. Ah, uh, so in, so in other words, if you want. Ah, uh, okay. So if you want, if you want to make this potentially stack it in our favor then I'd probably have to take the first shot. Okay. This is not going well. Well, uh, what do you do? Yeah, make a still check. <laughs> I, I, I should probably do it because I've got plus seven on mine. I should put... Which... Okay, so please make me still check to see if you can go through. Oh, come on, please. Please, once in this campaign. Please. Okay. Please. Ouch. No. Uh. Oh. Well, still got to roll as a, as a thing, yeah, so let's see. Maybe one, you'll be lucky. One, 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 one. Wait, I'm waiting for a natural 20. <laughs> I'm waiting for a natural 20. <laughs> I also hold 12. <laughs> uh, hey. cool. uh, wait, I should roll for the spiders too, actually. 
Oh no! Uh, one, 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 uh, okay, uh, I'm gonna do it against this spider here. I'm gonna cast Haunter's Mark, use one of my spells, get ready. Okay. Uh, what was Haunter's Marking? What's this one? Uh, yep, yeah, it was the one on the bottom left. I'll level four of them. And then I'm gonna roll my long bow and hope for the best. Yeah, that's it. Yes. Yeah. So, all damage. Wow, thanks, ah. one. So, uh, six damage plus on the spark. Wow, that was a sucky attack. There we go, that's the end of my turn. Okay, and now we're starting a turn. I okay, let's see. For now I'm just gonna I'm just gonna cast Moonbeam on the elf. Okay. Constitution. Yeah, it's a, it's a con. I rolled 16, so I take half damage. So that's seven damage for him. Okay. And it's the and it's gonna stay there until I lose concentration. Before I move it. Yeah. Uh, it's on the area, so if he moves, he's alright. Is that how it works, or is uh, it on him? Uh, hold on. Uh, let me pull up the card for it. You want to move also? Uh, I don't have it. I don't really have it. Uh, let's see. Uh, <laughs> uh. I think I'm... Uh... <laughs> oh I no, it's, it's, it's... Oh no, the, the damage is on his turn, right? Yeah. It's... Okay, well, it's his turn next, so let's say that... Th th 